encourage you to practice because this is easy to learn. It's easy to forget, okay, unless you commit yourself to it. And um, sometimes you're going to need it. You're going to be like I was a few years ago. I um, actually it was it was a couple years ago. I went up I went up to Vail. I worked for myself. I needed a day off, right, playing hooky. And I found out when you get to Vail, and some of you may know this. The gondola is free after 4 p.m. Do you know that? Yeah. And I thought, wow, if it's free, it's for me, right? So I got in line, and it turns out families like free stuff, too. There's screaming kids. I was like, oh, God, I don't want to ride up the gondola with all these screaming kids. There was one car at the front that looked like it had one guy in it. Like, it was, it was right at the front of the line, just about to take off. I ran up. I jumped in right as the doors slammed shut. I sat down, and I found out that the, it, there was really two passengers in the gondola. One was this hippie guy uh, who'd taken full advantage of our new pot laws. Like, he was smoked up, right? And, um, and his big dog was also in there. Big dog. They used to let dogs in the gondola. So I got eight minutes. I thought, OK, I'm going to make a little conversation. I sit down. Gondola takes off out of the station. And I said, uh, what's your dog's name? He, and he barely, like he opened his eyes just barely. He's like, <laughs> like there was smoke, like all around. And, and, and I said, what, what's your dog say? Dude. Dude. It's not a dog. Yeah, it's, not a it's a wolf. It's a <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry. He's trained. Had him about a week. <laughs> His name's Romeo. And I thought, and then, and then he, he drifts off into his pot-induced coma. And I think, wow, I know a thing or two about wolves. I've seen the Discovery Channel. And I know <laughs> that wolves need to be behind a fence or with 10 square miles to roam, not in a tiny gondola with me, like way out of its element. So I start to get a little nervous. Like I can feel that, that fear creeping in. And so the hippie is out like a light, but I think, okay, maybe if something gets intense, the hippie can you know, wake up and, and grab uh, the, the wolf you know, by his collar. But then, but then I look down and I think, and I go, wait, that's not a collar. That's a macrame necklace <laughs> <laughs> with a peace sign dangling from it. So I start to feel the fear you know, creep in a little more. And then uh, I decide, okay, um, this gets a little more intense because, because Romeo stands up. Like Romeo stands up, looks at, like, and we're eye to eye. This thing is a huge animal. We're eye to eye with, with a wolf in a gondola, no way out, right? And so I, I start to have all these thoughts like, okay, um, what's a wolf's uh, body language? Like, like, what should I, should, should I try to pet him and risk losing my hand? And like, no, like, should I smile? Like, no, that's threatening. And then, and then. And then uh, I start to think, okay, maybe maybe I'll just freeze and he, and he, and he won't he won't see me. And so that's what I try. And um, but then I feel him sniff up up my leg. I, I, like I feel him start to sniff 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 sniff, and, and, he, and he stops like right at, at, at my hand. And I feel that hot breath. I open my eyes, and and I uh, I see those those fangs, <laughs> like right there. And I realize at that point, I may be in a little more trouble because. Uh, I cut myself on the way into the gondola, <laughs> and I'm bleeding like the scars right here. You can see it, and um, I don't know if he's had lunch <laughs> yet, right? And so, and so, so my, my mind starts to play tricks on me. I think, okay, um, if he rips off my leg, is he going to respond like a dog? Is it like drop it? Just you know, drop that? Or uh, you know, how, how long does it take to, uh, for an ambulance to get to the top of Vale Mountain anyway? Or am I going to be relegated to eight? You know that eight-minute ride down for some help. Is, is anybody going to come to my funeral? Uh, and you know, I, I don't know what. What does God look like? Is it you know? Is it Morgan Freeman or George Burns? I don't know. And and, and, and my, my mind is, is is going crazy, and I, I'm just bracing for the worst. I'm feeling that hot breath, and 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 I uh, all of a sudden I feel this huge movement, and I, I open my eyes because I thought I thought I was dead, but it turns out I wasn't. And it, that was the movement of us pulling into the gondola station up, up top. The doors swing open. The hippie regains his consciousness. And, and he, he grabs Romeo by the, by the necklace. <laughs> you know? and, I, and this is just one of those times you know, when, you, when you wish you hadn't studied a little harder. Right? When, you, when you wish you hadn't known a little more. Because right? how many of you have been in that? gondola with that wolf, right, that meeting, right? And you really wished you knew what their intent was. 
Now, I came out of this pretty good. You've got some tools that are going to let you come out pretty good as well the next time you get in that, in that pinch, right? Because, you know, the hippie, he, he, he took Romeo by the, by the necklace and he led him out of the gondola. I'm just trying to recover. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he took a ball and he threw it for Romeo to go chase. And before that wolf ran off to get it, he turned back around. He looked at me. And I swear, he winked. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much.